Shakur Stevenson fans, I keep asking y'all to stop, bro. And I be trying to just chill. I be trying to chill, but y'all make me have to just refute all the dumb lies that y'all keep telling. So we gonna do that in this video. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Sangin' OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join the channel as a member, drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos that we do. And hit me up if you want to debate knockoutboxing86yahoo.com or you can just come by the channel when I'm live. So now what we own is Gervonta Tank Davis could still fight Shakur Stevenson because Eddie Hearn is willing to step aside to make the fight happen. Eddie Hearn is willing to step aside for Javante Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson to fight. So if Tank Davis don't try to make the fight while Shakur Stevenson is in the middle of his deal, then it's Tank Davis that don't want the fight. That's what people, that, that that's the new shit. Like, y'all just running out of shit. Oh, Tank Davis would have said something if Shakur Stevenson ducked him. He didn't say shit about Loma. Killed that shit, right? Oh, Shakur Stevenson said the Tank Davis team never reached back out to him. Well, Shakur Stevenson's a goddamn liar, and we proved how many times he done lied in the past, so why would you believe him just because his story fits what you want to believe because you don't like Javante Tank Davis? Killed that shit, right? Now this new one is about Tank that Shakur, yes, yeah, Shakur signed a deal to Eddie Hearn in match room, but Eddie Hearn is willing to step aside so that Shakur Stevenson can fight Javante Tank Davis. Look, bro. It is not Javante Tank Davis is any fighter's job to get people out of contracts that they sign. If you go out of your way to fucking go somewhere else, it is not my job to to go get you from that situation and then and then make the fight with you. No, it's your job to maintain freedom. It's your job to maintain flexibility, bro. Like people are trying to skip over the fact that he went and signed somewhere else for two fights and going directly to Tank. Go get him out those two fights. Go get him out those two fights. Go pay step aside money. Go on um, get Hearn out the way. Go get Turkey out the way and still go over there and make the fight. Shakur Stevenson was free, y'all. He was fucking free. So why? So instead of putting the onus on him and saying, yo, bro, why didn't you just stay free and go see if you could get the Tank fight? Instead of saying, yo, why did you sign up to Eddie Hearn for multiple fights? Why didn't you just sign up for one fight? Why didn't you why didn't why didn't you just sign up for one fight? Why did you sign up for two fights? Instead of doing that, it's always, hey Tank, go get this nigga out of his contract. Go pay Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya and Williams and pay them, pay them some step aside money. And then make the Shakur Stevenson fight. How about Shakur Stevenson just stay free? It's like y'all are trying to skip over the blatant duck and then put something else on top of it. Nah, dog, we going to stick right here. The Loma smoke is on top rank. The Tiafimo smoke is on top rank. The Ryan Garcia smoke is on Golden Boy. The, the Zapata smoke is on Golden Boy. The Tank Davis smoke is on PBC. The, 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 um, the Pitbull smoke is on PBC. I told y'all, Shakur Stevenson said a lot of shit the past few months. We'll know what he really want based on his actions. And his actions were, I'm going to take my ass over here and I'm going to get this bag. I don't give a fuck what y'all think anyway. I'm going to go get this bag. I don't, I, so he showed that it's not as important for him to fight the fighters that Top Rank has to offer because he didn't want their deal. He showed that it's not as important for him to go after the Javante Tank Davis fight because he didn't want what they were offering. When they called him, he already had the Eddie Hearn shit lined up. It wasn't as important because Eddie Hearn was told not to try to make the Tank Davis fight. And what Shakur fans are trying to do is rationalize and trying to make it seem like, well, he only said that because he wanna make he wanna work for the fight separately with Eddie from Eddie Hearn. And so he did that because he's actually trying to make the fight. No, someone that's actually trying to make the fight wouldn't fuck with somebody that's not gonna be able to get you that fight. Y'all are like, yo, he can he can get Eddie Hearn out the way, KO. Eddie Hearn is willing to step aside. Who put him in the way in the first place? That's the problem. That's what y'all are skipping over. You put him in the, in the way in the first place. He wasn't in the way to begin with. But you put him in the way, and now you're saying, well, I can get him out the way. 
Why did you put him in the way in the first place? Why is he there in the first place? Because that's what you really wanted to do. It is not the job of any fighter, A side or B side, to get a fighter out of something that they signed. You signed up to fight Cordina in the paper. You did that shit. You signed up to go to a promoter that we all know Tank Davis has not dealt with. Yeah, they done made PBC done made some cross promotional shit with Top Rank. Yeah, they done made some cross promotional shit with Golden Boy. They ain't really did shit with Eddie Hearn and Max Room. The Canelo Alvarez fight is the only one, and that's because Canelo, Canelo is such a goddamn duck that he made them go fight Berlanga because he wouldn't fight nobody else. He don't want David to be there. But again, Berlanga signed to match room when Canelo wasn't even a possibility. No one was thinking about Canelo versus Berlanga. We were like, hell no. Nah. That, that was three, four fights ago. Or three fights ago, two fights ago. So that wasn't a realistic fight. Shakur Stevenson knew that Tank Davis was free and he went somewhere where they have not a soul in sight for him to fight. And what y'all are doing is trying to, tell, trying to put the onus on Tank Davis to go get Shakur Stevenson out of something that he signed. It don't work that way, bro. And a lot of y'all that are doing it, I notice, are really former Devin Haney fans that are really just Tank Davis haters that are trying to get find a new talking point to use for Shakur Stevenson just because you don't like Tank Davis back from when you was arguing Tank Davis and Devin Haney. That's what I'm noticing because the talking point is exactly the same. We've heard this shit before. Devin Haney in a rematch clause. Devin Haney in a three-fight deal. Tank Davis sent him an offer anyway and proved that he really got to fight Cambosos a second time. Sent him, a, sent him an offer anyway and proved that his deal with Lomachenko really isn't done. Y'all are saying the same shit about Shakur Stevenson now. It's the same fucking shit, the same talking point, bro. Y'all all sound the same to me. That's why y'all are all food. That's why you so easy to cook. That's why y'all can't fuck with me because you're saying the same shit that I already killed. That I already been cooked on. That I already been debunked a hundred fucking times. Now you're saying the same thing for Shakur Stevenson. We know Shakur signed a two-fight deal. We know that Shakur Stevenson and Eddie Hearn made it clear their plan is to fight Joe Cordina, then try to go into a Williams to pay the fight. And if Tank Davis don't make them break those plans, then Tank Davis is ducking Shakur Stevenson. Why don't you ask yourself why Shakur Stevenson has plans and when it made plans that had nothing to do with Javante Tank Davis in the first place when he claimed Tank is the Super Bowl? Why don't you ask yourself why Shakur Stevenson went and made plans, went and made a two-fight deal that didn't include Javante Tank Davis and didn't set himself up to be available for Javante Tank Davis when he told you that him and Tank is the biggest fight in boxing? Why don't you ask those questions? Why is it that people always want to fight Tank Davis so bad, but there's always some step-aside money needed to make the fight happen? People always want to fight Tank Davis so bad, but there's always a rematch clause that a motherfucker got to get out of. Why is that, bro? Why don't the people that claim they want to fight him so bad keep themselves available and keep themselves free so that you can make the fight happen? Why don't y'all ever push for shit like that, bro? So this new narrative, bro, is weaker than the other ones, bro. What y'all got next, dog? Stop, just, just give it up, bro. Just admit Shakur ain't want no smoke right now. He's moving like a prospect, right? He's fighting trash-ass fights. And he tied himself down for two fights so that he can try to build his confidence up. And then maybe we can possibly get him in tank later on in 2025, bro. It is not anyone's job to get a man out of some shit that they sign. It's that man's job to make sure they don't sign no shit that keeps them from being able to pursue the shit that they claim they really want. Y'all can't get around this shit, bro. It was Shakur Stevenson that put Eddie Hearn in the way. Oh, well, he can get Eddie Hearn out of the way. Eddie will step aside. Eddie was already to the side. That's what you can't get by, bro. That shit don't work with me. He was already to the side. You put him in the way. If you wanted him out of the way so you can make the fight, you wouldn't have put him in the way in the first place, bro. This shit is not rocket science. It's not that hard, dog. He went and signed there because he liked his energy. He liked the idea of getting a bag, an easy bag against Joe Cordina. He wanted to get the Zapata fight. He signed over there for those purposes, bro. Tank Davis was not in his plans. And they're not in his plans in his next two fights. And it ain't T Tank Davis' job to go chase Shakur Stevenson. Shakur should be chasing him. 
Because if he fights Tank Davis, he will make more money fighting Tank Davis than Zapata and Cordina combined. Yeah, Ryan Garcia made more money fighting Tank Davis than what Shakur about to do combined in his two-fight deal. Frank Martin made 10 to $15 million to fight Tank Davis. That is going to be more money than what Shakur is going to get fighting motherfucking Joe Cordina and William Zapata. And on top of just the mere numbers of it, his stock is about to take a dramatic hit. Because that pay-per-view is going to flop. He is going to sell less pay-per-views than he had in attendance in his last fight in Newark, New Jersey. He had 8,000 people in attendance in his fight against, against um, Artem. That shit going to do probably less than 10,000 pay-per-view buys. I bullshit you not. That shit is on a Saturday afternoon in Saudi Arabia while we over here in America watching uh, college football, bro. It's literally going to be 40, 50 other products on TV for free over paying for Shakur Stevenson versus Joe Cordina. They set this man up for failure. And y'all want Tank Davis to come grab him out of failure. Come grab him from a flopped-ass pay-per-view. And then he gonna go from a flop ass pay per view to where him is a pay That shit gonna be on regular TV. And guess what? The live game ain't gonna do that good. But now nah, Tank send him an offer, bro. He already got the two fight deal. But Eddie, will, Eddie will step out of the way. Send him an offer. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. This is Shakur Stevenson's doing. This is on him. It is on him to make himself available again. That's who it's on. If Zapata ducks him, then cool. Let's get it cracking. But if he is fighting Zapata like they are reporting, Tank Davis would be stupid. He'd be a fool to pay extra money. His team would be stupid to pay extra money for Zapata to step aside. No, you let them motherfuckers fight. Since you could want to fight them so bad, you let them fight and whoever wins, it's a big fight for Tank regardless. Because Shakur Stevens said we want to see that fucking fight. And then Zapata, if he beats Shakur, we're going to damn sure want to see Tank versus Zapata. And Zapata got the Mexican fan base behind him. Whoever win that fucking fight, that's who Tank Davis needs to fight. Why the fuck would he pay step-aside money to get Shakur Stevenson out of his mandatory? Shakur wanted his mandatory. He didn't want to unify. He wanted his mandatory. He been chasing his mandatory. Right? He been doing everything he can to make the Zapata fight. Meeting with Oscar, meeting with Eddie. He been doing everything he can to make that fight. Now y'all want Tank to go get him out that shit. No, that's what he wanted. Good luck. Good luck to you, bro. I hope you make it out of this shit on the other side. If you don't, Tank and Zapata is just as fucking good. And truth be told, before I go, it'll be way more entertaining than Tank Davis chasing your ass around the ring for 12 rounds. I'm just saying. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below. I'll see y'all soon. Peace.